Hi students, welcome to one X Smart Class Forum. This is Vikas sir, your mentor. So students, today I am going to discuss an important part which is related to your preparations of competitive examinations. So what is the concept today? So students, today I will going to explain about the details vacancy of recruitment of regional rural bank 2020 so students you know that recently that means in 1st july 2020 the announcement has given about the regional rural bank notifications about the nc's okay so students today i will explain 10 important points which are related to our recruitment vacancies of rrb regional rural bank so what are the important 10 important points so i am telling to you students first i will explain how many types of vacancies are there point number two i will explain what are the participating banks are there and point number three what are the eligibility criteria point number four what is the educational qualifications point number five what is the application fees to apply this form point number six what is the examination pattern as well as the cutoff score point number seven what is the covid guidelines which is uh, very necessary while you are going to appear the prelim and main examination in the center then point number eight how many vacancies list are there point number nine how you will apply this post and point number 10 the tentative date for examination so these are the 10 important points which will very necessary to know about before applying the form of the recruitment rrb 2020 okay so students let's have a look so in my smart screen i will explain briefly about my 10 important points which i have told to you okay students let's go and let's have a look about our details concept okay okay students let's have a look about our details explanations which is related to the recruitment regional rural bank rrb 2020 okay so students this is the pdf which uh, has display in the smart screen and as students you know that the examination will be carried out by ibps institute of banking and personal selection so this is the exact pdf notification which has given by the ibps websites okay so students first we'll go about the point number one types of vacancies list so which type of vacancies has given for regional rural bank by ibps so students see here in the smart screen it has given two two types of vacancies so one vacancy is recruitment for the officers and another is recruitment for the office assistants so students clearly noted that two types of vacancies are given one is for officer and another is for uh, assistant so for officer three types of scales it has defined one is scale one scale two and scale three so students remember for scale one it is eligible for any graduate students without experience so students i'm repeating again scale one officer students can apply those are graduate and without experience but scale two and scale three this is the guidelines given for experienced candidate okay and office assistant which is known as your office assistant which is known as your clerical examinations so it is also it has given the multi-purpose that means multi-dimensional work now it has defined by almost all the organizations okay so students point number one clear about that two types of vacancy one is officer and another is assistant for officer you can apply for scale one scale two and scale three and for assistant it is as junior um, um it is as office assistant or you can say uh, clerical candidate okay then goes to students point number two what is the point number two what are the participating banks are associated for rrv regional rural bank okay so students as you know that the regional rural bank it is almost present in all the states so every state has a category of the vacancies recruitment which is related to our regional rural bank so every state there are the different different regional banks are there and all the examination will be carried out in a single date by associated with the uh, ibps institute of banking and personal selection so students as we belongs to odisha state so for odisha there are two participating banks for rrb regional rural bank one is utkal gramin bank and another is odisha gramya bank so students see here in the participating banks 
द सीरियल नंबर 27 ओडिशा ग्राम्य बैंक दिस इज द सीरियल नंबर 27 ओडिशा ग्राम्य बैंक सो स्टूडेंट्स आज इट इज रीजनल रूरल बैंक सो यू कैन अप्लाई बेस्ड अपॉन योर रीजन दैट मीन दो स्टूडेंट्स बिलोंग्स टू दोस रीजन मींस दोस रीजन ऑफ द स्टेट देन यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर दिस पोस्ट सो आज इन ओडिशा देयर आर टू रीजनल रूरल बैंक वन इज उत्कल ग्रामीण बैंक एंड अनदर इज ओडिशा ग्रामीण बैंक सो स्टूडेंट्स दो स्टूडेंट्स आर बिलोंग्स टू आवर स्टेट ओडिशा ओनली देन यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर टू बैंक्स सो वन इज ओडिशा ग्रामीण बैंक व्हिच इज मेंशन इन सीरियल नंबर 27 ओके एंड द हेड ऑफिस इज प्रेजेंट इन भुवनेश्वर एंड स्टेट इज ओडिशा एंड लैंग्वेज इज ओडिया ओके एंड अनदर इज इन सीरियल नंबर 30 9 so students see here in serial number 39 this is utkal gramin bank so students clear about that this is utkal gramin bank and head office is present in balangir district and state is odisha and language is odia so students remember one is for serial number 27 another is serial number 39 so in serial number 27 which is odisha gramya bank and serial number 39 which is utkal gramin bank so students you can apply for these two only banks if you are belongs to for odisha state okay so these are the participating banks if you are belongs to our state odisha so point number two has clear students then we are going to explain about our point number three so what is the point number three students point number three is what is the eligibility criteria okay so let's have a look okay so students you can clearly see that in the screen the eligibility criteria first it has defined you must be the citizen of india okay and another part is there your age so this is the important part for the general candidate students basically the age criteria so for competitive examination not only for banking exam but also in all the competitive examination the important eligibility criteria is age so students see the screen here clearly so for office assistant so for officer scale 3 senior manager so as we have already discussed one is for recruitment for officer and another is for assistant so for officer scale 3 the age is above 21 years and below 40 years but it is applicable for scale 3 officer okay so the age is between 21 to 40 years but another is for officer scale 2 manager post here the age is more than 21 years and below 32 years okay and for officer scale 1 assistant manager so students this is the vacancies is important those who are preparing for competitive examination without experience that means if you are graduate students and, and without any experience you can apply for this post officer scale 1 that means assistant manager here the age must be more than 18 and most age must be less than 30 years and it has given the criteria that means third that means 0307-1990 that means third July 1990 that means the students must be born after 03 July 1990 then he can apply for this post and here students I am repeating again the vacancy is uh, for the officer scale 1 the age must be more than 18 years and less than 30 years so this is the criteria for officer exam one is for scale 3 age is 21 to 40 then scale 2 age is 21 to 32 and for scale 1 this is 18 to 30 years okay and another for office assistant so for office assistant means clerical candidate the age between 18 to 28 so students and it has defined the person must be the person should not should not be born earlier than 0 to 7 1992 that means in the notification it has clearly defined that the person must not be born before 0 to July 1992 so another concept is students again i am repeating for scale 1 and for office assistant so for scale 1 officer the age must be more than 18 and less than 30 and for office assistant the age must be more than 18 and less than 28 
okay it is applicable for the general candidate students but for the reservation candidate students there is the age relaxation so what is the age relaxation so students you can see here so students you can see here the smart screen the age relaxation for scheduled cast and scheduled type that means st and sc candidate five year age relaxation and for other backward class three year age relaxation so age criteria is applicable for the general candidate students and those are belong to reservation category so you can get the relaxation near about three to five years okay so eligibility criteria is completed then students we are going to go for the point number four so what is the point number four the educational qualifications okay so students go for about the point number four what is the educational qualification okay students go for the point number four educational qualification so what is will the educational qualification for the officer as well as for the office assistant okay so students see here so first is for office assistant post means clerical candidate okay so for clerical candidate the educational qualification is bachelor degree in any discipline from the recognized university so first criteria it has given the students must be a graduate students and Another is that the proficiency in local language as prescribed by the participating RRB. So students, as you are belongs to Odisha state, and if you are apply for Utkal Gramin Bank and Odisha Gramin Bank, then it has defined that you must be know about the Odia language. And another is uh, working knowledge of computer. That means it has given the three concept. First concept is you must be a graduate. Second concept is you must be know about your regional language odia language and third concept is you must be know about the computer literacy okay so this is the concept and experience it has given nil that means as it is the fresher uh, uh, post for fresher graduate so there is not necessary any experience then goes to officer scale one means assistant manager so for assistant manager students see here this is the officer scale one so what is the criteria the criteria is given bachelor degree in any discipline from any recognized university that means students it has also given students must be graduate but another concept it has given the preference will be given those candidate having the degree in agriculture horticulture forestry uh, animal uh, veterinary science agriculture engineering okay agriculture marketing corporation information technology management law economics that means if this type of uh, qualification is related to your graduate then preference will be given and third is the proficiency in local language and fourth is the computer knowledge is desirable that means in office assistant three criteria is given but in officer assistant manager four criteria is given so for officer first criteria is graduates must be necessary and preference will be given those students belongs to information technology management law economics agriculture veterinary science horticulture forestry so the professional degree those have then preference will be given and third concept is the proficiency in the regional language that means if you are apply for the odia uh, odisha uh, rrb then odia language must be necessary and computer literacy it is the another factor it is vital part desirable it has defined okay so this is the necessary educational qualifications for officer scale one means assistant manager then goes to students officer scale two general banking manager so this is only for experienced candidate so for officer scale to students you can see here the bachelor degree in any discipline it has also defined and equivalent with the minimum 50 percent mark in aggregate that means percentage of mark it has given but students remember for office assistant and officer scale one so students you can see for office assistant and officer there is no there is no concept of percentage of marks in aggregate that means in office assistant and officer it does not have defined any concept related to the percentage of mark but it has given for the officer scale too so what is the concept here it has given 50 percent marks in aggregate that means students remember if it has mentioned 50 percent mark that means 49.99 also not be eligible 
okay then preference will be given those candidates in degree in banking finance marketing agriculture horticulture forestry okay veterinary science then agriculture engineering as well as information technology management law economics which is relevant to your scale one officer also okay that means it has defined you must be a graduate with minimum 50 percent mark with preference will be given those are professional graduate students okay and here the another important is two year experience an officer in banking or financial institution that means it is given you must be work in a bank or financial institution with minimum two year experience it is applicable for scale to officer okay then go for the next okay so scale to specialist officer students this is the scale to officer for general banking it is the scale to officer for general banking manager okay another scale to officer for specialist officer means specialist candidate officer examination it is also related to your scale to okay so here we can check also what is the educational qualification has given so students you can check so students you can see here officer scale to specialist officer that means uh, those candidates are professional candidate and if you have the experience you can apply for the specialist candidate of scale to officer so what is the educational qualification for information technology you can apply okay and for law officer also you can apply okay chartered accountant also apply so those students are belongs to a professional in IT sector with two year minimum experience. So for information technology officer, you can apply for this post. So bachelor degree in any uh, universities with electronics, communication, computer science, information technology are equivalent with minimum 50% mark in aggregate. That means those students are apply for information technology officer, IT officer. Okay. So you must have be the graduate with minimum 50% mark with your professionalism course, computer science, information technology, electronics, okay, or equivalent with minimum 50% mark and desirable uh, skills it has defined certificate in ASP, PHP, C++, Java, VV, VC, OPC these are very necessary and minimum one year experience in the relevant field. So minimum one year experience in the relevant field it is very necessary for IT officer as a specialist candidate in scale 2. Okay. Then for chartered accountant students you can see here it has also defined for chartered accountant certificate associate CA from an institute chartered accountant in India and minimum one year chartered accountant experience must be necessary. So if you are apply for the chartered accountant post then you must be a certificate associated from the institute of chartered accountant of India as well as minimum one year experience then law officer so if you are a ba in llb or ma in llb so degree must be recognized university in law or equivalent or minimum 50 percent mark in aggregate and here it is defined two years as a advocate or should be work in the law office or in banks or financial institution that means it is clearly mentioned minimum two years you must be work as a advocate or minimum or uh, or as a law officer in bank or financial institution. So here two year experience it is defined but for IT officer it is one year experience and for chartered also it is one year experience. Okay. So another is treasury manager it is given. Okay. Treasury manager and for treasury manager uh, it has also given one year in the relevant field. So if you are apply for the treasury manager post then minimum one year relevant field is necessary. Okay, then goes to next educational qualification which is related to our scale 3. So students we have discussed about our point number 4 educational qualification for office assistant then for officer scale 1 assistant manager then for officer scale 2 uh, banking officer as well as a specialist candidate officer. Okay, then go for the officer scale 3 senior manager. So students it has mentioned officer scale 3 senior manager. So overall students I am telling to you as two types of vacancies there one is for officer and another is for assistant then we are going we are came to know that 
officer is divided into three category one is officer scale 1 then officer scale 2 then officer scale 3 so officer scale 1 this is assistant manager post officer scale 2 this is specialist candidate or general banking officer and officer scale 3 this is the senior manager post okay and for office assistant this is clerical candidate so clear about the vacancies okay so for officer scale 3 students it has defined bachelor degree in any discipline as with 50 percent mark in aggregate preference will be given those candidate having the degree or diploma in banking finance or marketing agriculture forestry then animal science veterinary science agriculture engineering okay then marketing information technology law economics okay so these are the professional qualification is preference and here it has given minimum five year experience as an officer in banking and financial institution so here for scale three means senior manager it has given the experience you must have minimum five year experience so for office assistant and for officer scale one assistant manager no experience is necessary means fresher graduate can apply but for officer scale 2, some cases one year experience as asking and somewhere two year experience as asking based upon the qualifications, educational qualification. And for scale 3 means senior manager minimum five year experience is necessary. Okay. So these are the educational qualifications which is related to the recruitment of high school. So students point number 4 we completed. Okay. Then goes to point number 5 so what is the point number 5 application fee okay okay students for point number 5 which what is the point number 5 application fee okay so students see the smart screen here so for application fee first is for officer exam so for officer exam three type of vacancy is there one is scale 1 scale 2 and scale 3 so for officer exam those students belongs to reservation category means st sc and pwd then they are having the application fee 175 rupees only 175 rupees only okay but for other candidate the application fee is 850 rupees so this is only for officer scale one exam and if you are applying for office assistant examination and same thing those candidate belongs to reservation that means st sc pwbd okay so for here 175 rupees only but rest candidate those are unreserved candidate here application fee is 850 rupees and it has clearly defined the transaction charges for online payment fee intimation charges will have been borne by the con candidate that means so students as this is the vacancies is regional rural bank everything is online mode this is the important point students i am telling to you all the things you must be do in online means you have to apply the form in online you have to give your documentation also online and you have to pay the application fee also online the examination process prelim and main also online okay so most of the things it will be in online mode so this is the payment while you are applying the post you have to pay so it is not offline mode this is online mode so various types of online mode is there so you can pay through credit card debit card okay through epi transaction okay internet banking so these are the facilities available in the website so while you are applying the form and if you are giving the payment also so through online transactions you will give the payment system okay and the transaction charges it will be bear by the candidate also okay so clear about the part about the application fee students clear then goes to the point number six examination pattern okay okay students we have completed up to point number five i'm repeating again types of vacancy we have clear one is officer another is for assistant for officer scale one scale two scale three and for assistant this is clerical candidate point number two also we have completed participating bank so as you are belongs to odisha state you will apply for utkal gramin bank as well as odisha gramya bank point number three eligibility criteria also we have discussed okay Point number four, educational qualification also we have discussed and point number five, what is the application fee also we have discussed. So now we are going to discuss about our important part, examination pattern. This is point number six. So students for RRB examination, so for RRB examination, so students remember 
first is for office assistant so students for office assistant two types of examination is there one is prelim examination and another is main examination so first students you have to appear the prelim examination and if you are qualifying the prelim examination then you are eligible to appear the main exam if you are disqualifying the prelim exam then you won't be apply for main examination so what is the prelim examination structure students see here for office assistant for office assistant means clerical candidate okay so here the examination first is preliminary examination so what is the examination pattern one is reasoning is there another is numerical ability is there that means your aptitude so one is reasoning and another is aptitude so number of question is 40 here and for aptitude also number of question is 40 and total is 80 and what is the maximum mark the maximum mark also 40 here also 40 and total is 80 and the composite time is 45 minutes so this is the important factor here so students see here only two subjects so students in rrb english part is not there in prelim exam so do not worry about that so here only reasoning and another is numerical ability and total is 80 question and total mark also 80 questions 80 marks and here no sectional time is there students clearly it has defined the composite time that means both for reasoning and aptitude you will get only 45 minutes so within the 45 minutes you have to complete the questions okay and another concept it has given if you are qualified in the prelim examination then you are eligible for the main exam okay similarly for officer scale one that means assistant manager so students assistant manager i have told to you if you are a fresher graduate without experience then you can apply for officer scale one assistant manager here also prelim exam is there prelim and same pattern reasoning is there quantitative aptitude is there and here total number of question is 40 here also total number of question is 40 here total mark is 40 here total mark is 40 that means total question is 80 total marks is 40 and composite time also 45 minutes that means for officer scale one also no sectional time has given composite timing that means total time is 45 minutes and within the 45 minutes you will complete the questions okay and here the condition has given also so students what is the condition it is given the condition it is given so students you can check here the candidate for both posts that means officer scale one and office assistant have to qualify in both tests by securing the minimum cutoff mark that means i am telling to you if you are applying for office assistant or if you are applying for officer scale one examination you must be qualified in the prelim examination if you qualify then you are eligible for the main examinations okay so go to the main examination pattern so students see here the main examination pattern so in main examination pattern students see here first is office assistant means clerical candidate okay so for office assistant clerical candidate mean main exam here five papers are there so what are the five paper one is reasoning then computer knowledge then general awareness then english or hindi and fifth is numerical ability so another important criteria it has given students so you can choose the english language or hindi language either or that's why in category number four it has given a or b so that means reasoning is compulsory computer knowledge is also compulsory general knowledge is compulsory numerical ability also compulsory but english language or hindi either or you can check one okay so number of question each has 40 question and total is 200 and maximum mark so students in reasoning maximum mark is 50 in computer knowledge maximum mark is 20 general allowance is 40 english or hindi either you can check anyone and numerical ability also mark is 50 so here total marks is 200 and composite time is 2 hours so students in main examination also it does not having defined any sectional timing so here composite timing means total timing it has given so what is the total timing two hour so within this two hour you have to complete your questions okay so this is the criteria for main exam of office assistant but another important to the students i am telling to you prelim mark is only qualifying 
so i'm repeating again students prelim mark is only qualifying and you are eligible for appearing the main examinations and students if you are qualify in the main examination then there will be no interview for office assistant so based upon your main examination mark you will be shortlisted uh, shortlist based upon your merit list so those students have maximum mark so there will be a shortlist of the ranking and based upon the ranking you will get the job okay so students i am telling to you again for office assistant prelim examination is only qualifying in nature and if you are qualifying then you will going to appear the main examination so prelim mark does not be add to qual select you in the final selection the main mark will be associated for selection of your final selection and there will be no interview for office assistant and if you have maximum mark in the main exam then there will be a merit list and if your number is merit list with a number of highest mark then you will be final selection okay same thing for officer scale one also so for officer scale one students see here here also similar pattern for officer scale one means assistant manager so for assistant manager also reasoning is there computer knowledge is there general awareness is there language either or you can choose either you can choose english language or you can choose hindi language and fifth is quantity aptitude that means five section is there and total number of question each has 40 so total is 200 questions and mark also reasoning is 50 marks computer is 20 marks general awareness is 40 marks english or hindi either or you can check and here marks also 40 and for quantity aptitude here mark is 50 so total mark is how much 200 and here composite time is also 2 hour that means for officer scale 1 examination also there will be no composite there will be no sectional time here time is composite time so within the 2 hour time you must be complete the questions okay but for criteria about the officer scale 1 examination means assistant manager here three step is there one is prelim exam then main exam then interview then you will get your final selection but students here also prelim exam if you have the maximum mark then it is only qualifying prelim examination mark will not be added to select you as a final selection so only it you are qualifying if your prelim exam then you are eligible for to appear the main examination so how will be select the main examination mark as well as the interview mark both will be added and there will be a aggregate mark and based upon the mark if you are qualifying then you will be got the final selection so for officer scale one interview is there but for officer as office assistant no interview is there so based upon your mark there will be a merit list and you will be selection but for officer scale one assistant manager main examination mark interview mark both will be added then if you have the uh, mark which is necessary uh, for the um, selections then you will be get the selection okay okay students clear about the examination pattern for office assistant and officer scale one now we will go for the examination pattern for officer scale two as well as officer scale three scale two it is specialist candidate as well as general banking officer and scale three it is for senior manager so what is the examination pattern for scale two officer so students for scale two officer first is general banking officer exactly so general banking officer here the single level exam is there so students remember here the single level examination is there that means no prelim exam only main examinations so what is the single level examination for scale 2 so reasoning part is there computer knowledge is there financial awareness is there either you can choose english or hindi and quantitative aptitude and data interpretation so here total is 200 question each has 40 40 questions so students and mark also after uh, reasoning is 50 aptitude is 50 and rest are 40 but computer is 20 marks and here total question is 200 okay so students i'm telling to you for scale 2 general banking officer here only single exam no prelim direct main examination and reasoning computer financial allowness english or hindi then completed aptitude so total is 200 and mark also 200 and composite time is 2 hour here also no sectional uh, timing is given composite timing that means total time is 2 hour within the time you will complete your questions let's go about our scale 2 officer specialist candidate so students see here for special, uh, specialist candidate 
ओके सो स्पेशलिस्ट कैंडिडेट व्हाट आर द स्पेशलिस्ट कैंडिडेट लाइक आईटी ऑफिसर लॉ ऑफिसर चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट ओके ट्रेजरी ऑफिसर सो दीज आर द फोर कैटेगरी वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस आई एम रिपीटिंग अगेन आईटी ऑफिसर लॉ ऑफिसर चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट एज वेल एज ट्रेजरी ऑफिसर सो फॉर दिस केस ऑफिसर स्केल टू स्पेशलिस्ट कैंडिडेट सो हियर प्रोफेशनल नॉलेज इज देयर प्रोफेशनल नॉलेज एंड क्वेश्चन इज 40 एंड मार्क आल्सो 40 professional knowledge means if you are a it background students okay with experience it then your professional knowledge will be it if you are a law students then professional knowledge is from law background if you are the chartered students then professional knowledge is from chartered then reasoning it is common paper finance allowance is also common paper either english or hindi okay then computer knowledge computer knowledge is compulsory okay so if it students then professional knowledge is it and computer knowledge okay so both are relevant and quantitative aptitude and data interpretations so this is also the single examination students so here another important part is added professional knowledge but for general banking officer professional knowledge is not added for the specialist candidate examination the professional knowledge is added and here total marks is 240 because one prof uh, professional knowledge is added and marks is 200 so students here question is 240 and marks is part 200 because uh, here language for hindi or english your marks is 20 computer marks also 20 so both are reducing that's why here total mark is 200 and duration of the examination composite time is 2 hour so clear about the concept of specialist candidate student let's go about our scale 3 officer means senior manager post so what is the uh, examination part on for senior manager okay so students see here for the scale 3 officer exam senior manager examination so here reasoning is there computer knowledge is there financial awareness is there language english or hindi either you can choose any one and quantity aptitude is there that means total is 5 paper so each has 40 question total is 200 and marks also here 200 similar to your scale 1 officer exam and composite time is also Two hour examinations. Okay, so students here the scale three examination senior manager, which is similar to the scale two officer um, of uh, general banking officer. Okay, and here also single examinations and total question is two hundred, total marks also two hundred, and composite time is two hour. Okay, so another important part is student remember there will be a negative mark is there that means. if you are correct one question then you will get one mark if you uh, if your one mark is negative that means if one question you have given wrong answer then minus 0.25 so 0.25 mark will be deducted means 1/4 okay suppose one question is correct you will get one mark suppose one question is wrong you are giving wrong answer then 1/4 will be deducted from your total score okay so clear about the concept so we have completed the examination pattern details about the officer examination scale 1 to 3 as well as office assistant okay okay students now point number 70 is covid guidelines means if you are going to appear the prelim examination as well as main examination so what are the guideline which has given by the ibps for maintaining the social distancing so that we can avoid the covid situations while you are applying the examinations appearing the examination in the center so let's have a look what is the guideline it has given by the ibps okay related to our covid situation so guideline number 1 it has given the point number 1 point number 1 it has given candidate is required to report the examination venue strictly as per the time slot mentioned in the admit card that means in the admit card that means while you are downloading the admit card okay everything you will be get notification through the sms or email in which time or which date you are going going to download the admit card in the admit card it has clearly mentioned the examination venue the timing as well as the date reporting time exam time details it has mentioned okay so point number 1 it has mentioned candidate required to report the examination venue strictly as per the time slot mentioned that means those time time slot means morning time maybe afternoon time maybe evening time which time slot it has mentioned accordingly you will be report okay and point number 2 mapping up the candidate roll number and lamp number will not be display outside the examination venue 
so your roll number and lamp number it will be not display outside the examination venue but after entering to the examination okay so in the lab number which we have uh, defined both roll number lab number registration number it will be clearly given to you after entering to the examination okay hall okay then point number 3 is item permitted into the venue candidate which is the most important that's why i'm writing here imp so what are the item are permitted while you are entering to appear the examination in the center okay so what is the concept it has given so the concept is point number one so point number one it has given mask okay wearing a mask is compulsory so as per the covid guideline situation so ibp has given the guideline that the students must be wear the mask okay in the face before entering to the examination hall okay second is gloves so the gloves also very important to you so not only the mask but also gloves you must be wear in your hand then point number three personal transparent water bottle okay so transparent water bottle personal water bottle you will be take because no water bottle or water may not be provided in the center okay so you must be carry out your personal transparent water bottle point number four personal hand sanitizer 50 ml minimum that means they are also guideline you have to take your personal hand sanitizer in your pocket so it is also important point number five a simple pen that means um, before in 2019 or before the center are providing the pens for the rough sheet calculation but here it has defined you should bring your own pen and point number six exam related documentations like call letter or admit card id card in original photocopy of the id card etc so you must be bring so what are the relevant documentation call letter or id card it is uh, admit card it is one then point number two is id card original and photocopy of the id card that means three documents is important one is your call letter second is your original id card and third is your photocopy of your id card okay then point number uh, seven so what is the point number seven it is given so point number seven it is given call letter or admit card should be bring with the photocopy of the photo id staple with it original id same as photocopy it also brought the verification the name of the id card to the call letter should be exactly same that means it is given if you are bring your id proof as a aadhar card so the name which has mentioned in the aadhar card must be matched with the call letter if it does not match then there is a possibility you will be disqualifying to appear the examinations so it has clearly mentioned okay so what are the guidelines covid guidelines given by the ivp students i am repeating again first is mask is compulsory so before entering to the examination hall you must wear the mask in your face second is gloves so you must be wear the gloves through in your hands then point number 3 personal transparent water bottle also you must be bring point number 4 personal hand sanitizer okay so hand sanitizer also they will not provide you must be bring point number 5 pen also you must be take point number 6 the exam related documentation what are the documentation three documentation one is your call letter second is your id card and third is your photocopy of your id card and fifth is the call letter name must be matched with the id proof with the name also that means suppose your name is mr vikas rajan das it is mentioned here id proof aadhar card it must be matched with your uh, word in your um, um, call letter or admit card similarly otherwise maybe there is a possibility you will be rejected to appear the exam so these are the guideline which has given by the ivps for the avoiding the covid situations as well as to maintaining the social distancing so uh, personal hygiene hy hygiene is very important in covid situation so students these are the guideline you must be follow while you are going to appear the examination if you have then you are eligible or you are uh, allowed to appear the examination otherwise they will not to allow the examination and because the important part is social distancing that's why it has mentioned also to maintain the social distancing for avoiding the covid situation 
while you are going to appear the examination clear okay students clear about the covid guidelines which is given by ibps for appearing the examination in the center as well as some other guidelines also ibps has given for appearing the examination in the center so what are the other guidelines students see here the other guideline is point number 4 the candidate should not be share any of their personal belong material with anyone that means everything which are allowed to um, um, appearing the examination in the center you can share your things or material to other candidates so it is not allowed then point number 5 the candidate should maintain the safety social distance with another that means while you are going to appearing the examination in the center you must be keep the safe social distancing to each other it is also another important guideline then what is the guideline of 6 the candidate should stand in the row as per the instruction provided at the venue that means while you are entering the exam um, entering the examination center to appear the exam you must be maintain the queue in a row as per the instruction then point number 7 the point number 7 defined that if a candidate is avoiding the scribe then the scribe also should bring their own gloves and 95 mask sanitizer and water bottle wearing a mask is compulsory it is compulsory to wearing the mask both candidate and scribe will be required to be wearing the n95 mask okay so it has also given the criteria also means your masks your gloves your hand sanitizer your own water bottle your pen your call id uh, your call letter your id proof photocopy of id proof these are the things necessary you must be bring okay and you can share with any other also you must be maintain the social distancing also you must be maintain uh, you must be keep the standing of the row as per the instruction for entering into the examination hall also okay then what is the guideline of 8 point number 8 the candidate must be आरोग्य सेतु आप दिस इज ऑल्सो डिफाइन दैट सो स्टूडेंट्स आई बी पी एस ऑल्सो डिफाइन दैट यू मस्ट बी यू मस्ट हैव द आरोग्य सेतु आप इंस्टॉल ऑन योर मोबाइल फोन सो ऑन योर मोबाइल फोन आरोग्य सेतु आप मस्ट बी इंस्टॉल द आरोग्य सेतु आप स्टाटस मस्ट शो the candidates risk factor the candidate will have to display the status of the security guard at the entry into the examination venue so students ibps clearly given the guidelines in your smartphone aarogya setu app must be necessary and you have to show the status of the aarogya setu app to the security guard before entering to the examination venue it is clearly defined okay in case of candidate does not have the smartphone he or she will be bring a signed declaration to their effect declaration provided by the okay um, annex or iv and so the same to the security guard to the entry in the examination that means if you do not have any smartphone of aarogya setu app also then the candidate must be um give a declarations okay and this declarations which has mentioned in the uh, uh, annex or iv okay and it must be show to the security guard while you are entering to the examination venue okay okay so another factor it has given in point number 8 the candidate with moderate or high risk status means in your aarogya setu app if you have a moderate or high risk status on aarogya setu app will not be allowed to entry means e your status if it is moderate or high then you are not allowed to entry in the examination okay in case of any other response okay in the declaration covid 19 infection or symptom the candidate will not be permitted inside the examination venue that means if any type of uh, um, what uh, uh, any type of symptoms of infection is there it has been seen that means in any type of in you know, symptoms which is related to the infection if it is identified then you are also not allowed to appear in the examination okay point number 9 aarogya setu set up status display at the entry gate the candidate will be required to switch off their phone and deposit to the designated location to be collected while existing that means after showing the status of your aarogya setu app in your smartphone then you will be switched off your phone and you will be hand over to the allocated person okay and because uh, while you are appearing the examination you are not allowed to bring your phone 
सो फोन इज नेसेसरी टू शो द स्टाटस अफ द आरोग्य सेतु आप सो आफ्टर दैट द द आलोकेटेड पर्सन विल बी देयर सो यू हैव टू हैंड ओवर योर स्मार्टफोन ओके देन व्हाट इज द पॉइंट नंबर 11 द पॉइंट नंबर 11 इज कैंडिडेट रजिस्ट्रेशन ओके सो व्हाट इज द कैंडिडेट रजिस्ट्रेशन सो द कैंडिडेट रजिस्ट्रेशन इज द कैंडिडेट रजिस्ट्रेशन विल बी डन थ्रू द फोटो कैप्चर द फोटोग्राफ विल बी टेकन व्हाइल द कैंडिडेट स्टैंडिंग and seat number will be given to the candidate that means it will be through biometric applications so through your photo uh, they will take the live photo okay through the web camera and after your registration the seat allotment will be provided by the authorized person okay then point number 12 so what is the point number 12 the point number 12 is so see here what is the point number 12 rough sheet call letter and id proof management rough sheet kept at each candidate desk will be used by candidate no additional seat will be provided during the examination means after registration the seat allotment will be given suppose your seat number is 30 so you will be seat in the seat number 30 where the computer desktop is available okay and here the rough seat or rough seat already given to you and maybe it will be one rough seat or maximum two rough seat and this in this rough seat you will do your rough work and more rough sheet will not be provided it is given no additional rough sheet will be provided okay the candidate must follow the instruction related to dropping the call letter with id proof copying the box okay so all the guidelines which has given you must be follow post examination control so on the completion of your shift the candidate should move out in the orderly manner without crowding instruction by the venue staff okay so these are the 13 important point which has given by the ibps okay including your covid guidelines okay so students i am repeating again you must be wear the mask you must have your hand sanitizer you must have your own water bottle with you must have your own pen okay you must have your smartphone with uh, um, arogya setu app you must be show the status of the arogya setu app while entering Uh, to the examination value to the security guard if it is moderate or high risk then you want you can be allowed to appear the examination as well as if any type of symptoms will be identify okay for the infection then also you can be allowed to appearing the examination and registration process through your photo uh, live photo through it will be carry out and then your seat allotment will be given the rough sheet is already given to you on the desk and no additional seat will be provided so i hope maximum two rough sheet is there for your calculations okay so these are the guidelines by the ivps including the covid situation guidelines also okay okay students we have completed point number 7 now go for the point number 8 vacancies list okay so students first we'll go for the office assistant uh, multi purpose that means for clerical candidate okay so for clerical candidate here category is straight then bank then sc schedule cast then st schedule tribe then other backward class then ews ews means economical so, uh, uh, economical weaker section so those students are belongs to general category but uh, 10% reservation is there for economical so, um, uh, economical weaker section uh, candidate so uh, sc st obc ews economical weaker section then general candidate okay so these are the list as given and students as we are belongs to odisha circle odisha state here two banks is there one is utkal gramin bank and another is odisha gramin bank let's have a look how, how many vacancies there of office assistant of utkal gramin bank and odisha gramin bank okay so students see here see here for office assistant so we are belongs to odisha state okay and here two types of bank is there one is with odisha gramya bank another is utkal gramin bank so students remember this year for 2020 in odisha gramya bank nr is there that means not recruitment is given that means odisha gramya bank has not conducting the examination in 2020 so this is a bad news for us because only we have two of someone is utkal gramin bank and another is odisha gramya bank so among these odisha gramya bank uh, does not conducting the recruitment that's why it has given 
एंड आर दैट मीन्स नो वैकेंसीज देयर दैट मीन्स नो रिपोर्ट हेज गिवेन एन आर फॉर एन आर नो रिपोर्ट सो नो रिपोर्ट हेज गिवेन बाय द ओडिशा ग्राम्य बैंक सो वी होप देर विल बी नो एग्जामिनेशन कंडक्टेड फॉर ओडिशा ग्राम्य बैंक वैकेंसी सो उत्कल ग्रामीण बैंक येस इट हेज गिवेन द डिटेल्स फाइव फॉर एस सी एस टी फॉर सेवेन then obc is 3 then um, weaker section social uh, economical weaker section is 3 and general candidate is uh, 12 uh, we can say so uh, we can say this is the vacancy list of um, assistant examinations or we can say office assistant for utkal gramin bank so for general it is 12 uh, obc 3 uh, so uh, economical section 3 obc 3 Uh, st7 sc is 5 so these are the vacancies okay and another it has given for 1 and 4 so for 1 and 4 uh, for uh, this is 1 and this is for 4 okay utkal gramin bank and these are allotment for apart uh, these are allotment for pwbd that means uh, which is related to the other reservation category okay so total number of vacancies is very less for the this year recruitment 2020 so students i am telling to you again for office assistant for odisha gramya bank still in 2020 nr has defined means no report has given that means you can apply for uh, the post of odisha gramya bank so only utkal gramin bank is participating for this year rrb okay with very few vacancies so for the officer scale one here also sc st obc then ews then general category then pwd okay let's have a look about what is the vacancy list for odisha so students same thing here okay so this is also a bad news for 2020 because odisha gramya bank odisha gramya bank this year is not participating so it is also for main officer exam also nr is defined that means no report has given that means uh, odisha gramya bank is not participating this year okay so utkal gramin bank it has also very few vacancies very few so sc is 4 st is 2 okay obc is 7 and then economical weaker section is 2 and general is 10 okay so very few vacancies is there but still students do not worry about that Uh, utkal gramin bank both office assistant and odisha gramin bank um, uh, utkal gramin bank for officer and utkal gramin bank for office assistant both are defined with very few vacancies but uh, as you are preparing for banking examination so you can apply okay and you can go for the preparation and you are now going to appear the examination also okay so these are the vacancies list for office assistant as well as uh what right. uh, officer scale 1 let's have a look about officer scale 2 okay so for officer scale 2 agriculture officer odisha gramya bank okay so i think this year 2020 odisha gramya bank is not participating that's why in assistant officer scale 1 officer scale 2 also only it has mentioning nr so let's have a look for utkal gramin bank okay so utkal gramin bank also for agriculture officer utkal gramin bank also it has no vacancies okay so let's have a look about officer scale 1 marketing officer scale 2 marketing officer so for marketing officer also for odisha gramya bank nr is given that means it is not participating in the examinations and let's have a look about utkal gramin bank so in utkal gramin bank also in utkal gramin bank also zero vacancies are defined that means officer scale to officer for uh agriculture officer okay and um uh, for uh, what one is agriculture officer and another is a marketing officer both are not participating to conduct uh, this examination or to select the candidate also let's have a look for other vacancies okay same here the odisha gramya bank nr is there okay let's have a look about utkal gramin bank and utkal gramin bank also uh, does not define any type of vacancy list okay then let's have a look about officer scale to law so officer scale to law odisha gramin bank nr okay and utkal gramin bank 
उत्कल ग्रामीण बैंक हियर इट इज जीरो सॉरी ओनली वन इज देयर सो नॉट जीरो स्टूडेंट्स येस हियर वन वैकेंसी इज देयर इन उत्कल ग्रामीण बैंक वन वैकेंसी लिस्ट इज देयर एज अ जनरल कैंडिडेट ओके वन वैकेंसी लिस्ट इज देयर एंड फॉर द पोस्ट इज फट लेट्स सी स्केल टू लॉ ऑफिसर येस सो दो स्टूडेंट्स आर अप्लाइंग फॉर लॉ ऑफिसर स्केल टू ऑफिसर सो यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर उत्कल ग्रामीण बैंक बिकॉज वन वैकेंसी लिस्ट इज देयर ओके सो लेट्स अव लुक फॉर अदर ऑफिसर स्केल टू चार्टर्ड लेट्स अव लुक फॉर ओडिशा ग्रामीण बैंक सो फॉर ओडिशा ग्रामीण बैंक इट डज नॉट हैव एनी रिक्रूटमेंट एंड फॉर उत्कल ग्रामीण बैंक लेट्स सी फॉर उत्कल ग्रामीण बैंक ऑल्सो इट इज जीरो ओके सो गो फॉर द रेस्ट फॉर आई टी ऑफिसर स्केल टू लेट्स अव लुक अबाउट ओडिशा सो आई टी ऑफिसर स्केल टू ओडिशा ग्रामीण बैंक हियर इट इज एन आर एंड फॉर उत्कल ग्रामीण बैंक लेट्स अव लुक फॉर उत्कल ग्रामीण बैंक इट इज ऑल्सो जीरो ओके देन स्केल टू जेनरल बैंकिंग ऑफिसर लेट्स अव लुक फॉर ओडिशा ग्रामीण बैंक फॉर ओडिशा ग्रामीण बैंक इट इज एन आर एंड लेट्स अव लुक अबाउट उत्कल ग्रामीण बैंक येस देर इज ए वैकेंसी सो स्टूडेंट्स दो सर अप्लाइंग फॉर जेनरल बैंकिंग ऑफिसर दैट मीन्स यू हैव एक्सपीरियंस इन बैंकिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और फिनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन देन यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर उत्कल ग्रामीण बैंक एज ए स्केल टू ऑफिसर एंड हियर एस सी इज वन ओके एस टी नो वैकेंसी ओ बी सी इज टू ओके अदर बैकवर्ड क्लासेस इज वन एंड जेनरल कैरेटर इज थ्री दैट मीन्स थ्री प्लस वन फोर प्लस टू सिक्स प्लस वन सेवन दैट मीन्स टोटल सेवन वैकेंसी इज देयर सो यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर जेनरल बैंकिंग ऑफिसर स्केल टू एग्जामिनेशन ओके then let's have a look about scale 3 officer so as odisha gramin bank is not participating this year so here nr is given and utkal gramin bank let's have a look in utkal gramin bank here also zero okay so these are the vacancy list which has related to our examination so students i have discussed about for office assistant for officer scale 1 and different category of officer scale 2 and scale 3 so students for this year odisha gramin bank is not participating only utkal gramin bank is participating for the different different types of vacancies of office assistant of officer scale 1 as well as officer scale 2 okay then go to the point number 9 how to apply so students we have completed up to 8 point then, okay students now go for point number 9 so what is the point number 9 how to apply okay so students here in the guidelines it is given the candidate first required to go to the ibps authorized website so what is the authorized website of ibps www.ibps.in so this is the authorized website www.ibps.in and click to the home page to open the link crp for rrb crp means common recruitment process for rrb regional rural bank and then click on the appropriate links click here to apply the online for crp rrb officer scale 1 scale 2 scale 3 and click here to apply online for crp office assistant multi purpose to open the link application form okay so student it has clearly given first goes to the authorized website www.ibps.in then goes to the home page and from the home page then goes to the apply for the post crp common recruitment process rrb 2020-20 and here you can choose for office assistant and you can choose for officer scale 1 scale 2 and scale 3 okay then the candidate will have to click here for the new registration process okay to register the application by entering the basic information online application form okay so what is the basic information so students see here it has mentioned the candidate are required to upload their photograph their signature their left thumb impression and handwritten declarations okay so these are the necessary you should upload your photograph your signature your left hand impression and students here the guidelines also given so what is the uh, um, size that means what is the memory size of your photograph what is the signature uh, size of the signature the left hand thumb impression because these are the image to be uploaded and here it has clearly mentioned what is the memory space it is necessary that means this mb to this mb or this mb to this mb okay then goes to the next criteria okay 
the next criteria is it's advised to carefully fill the online form application themselves no changes in any other data fill in the online application to be possible to enter okay prior to submission of the online application the candidate are advised to save and next okay so so many pages will be there so you will after filling up the form then you will go for the next page next page so go to the next page for that you have to save then go to the next page okay another criteria it has given the mode of payment the form you should apply through online payment also through online and examination also through online okay so see here mode of payment the candidate make the payment required fee intimation charges on the online mode okay so payment or intimation charges on the online mode so what are the options are given for the online mode students see here the payment can be made by using debit cards rupee visa master master credit cards internet bankings imps cash card mobile wallet by providing the information on the screen okay final submission and adding the page of the application display where the candidate may follow the instruction to fill the required okay so after giving the payment then your final submission page will be there and you will keep it saved for the further use so this is the uh, way you will apply for the examination okay so another is there so another important part is there please note that the particular mention in the online application including the name of the candidate name of the candidate category date of birth post applied for address mobile number email id center of examination local language preference for rrbtc will be considered as the final changes or modification allow after the submission of the online application that means after submission of the online applications whatever you are mentioning for your name for your category for your date of birth for your post apply your mobile number your email id center of examination local language preference all will be calculated as your final chosen okay so then another concept is that an email or sms an email or sms intimation will be given through the registration number and password to the mobile number through the sms as well as through email also okay so these are the guidelines for applying the uh form so to students in overall i am telling to you go to the authenticated website www.ibps.in then go to the home page then from the home page you can go for apply the form for crp common recruitment process rrb regional rural bank 2020 then here you can choose the option for multi-purpose office assistant you can choose for the options officer scale one scale two or scale three then you can go for the new registration and in a new registration you can upload your photo your signature your thumb impression your uh, document um, uh, on, on handwritten undertaking also as well as all the educational qualification whatever it has mentioned then lastly you can go for the payment through online mode then you can final submit your documentations okay so this is the way you can go for the apply the form so this is the point number nine and last the point number ten is the tenant tentative examination date so it is also uh, important that because all the things you know that then when the examination will be there minimum uh, prelim exam is there main exam is there interview date is there so there is a tentative date also it has defined by ibps for rrb okay so let's have a look about our last point point number 10 tentative date for examination okay okay students okay we have already completed our nine important point and this is the last point which is related to your tentative examination date of the recruitment rrb regional rural bank so let's have a look about the tentative date which is given by the ibps okay so what is the date here so see here students online registration including editing and modification of the application form okay it is active from the 1st july to 21st july so students remember you can apply the form from 1st july to 21st july after that your online application form will be closed so online registration edit or modification application form it is active only from 1st july to 21st july then payment application fee or intimation charge it will be 1st july to 21st july also okay then downloading the call letter for free examination training that means pet the call letter it is uh, 12 uh, august 2020 then conduct of the pre-examination training it is 24 august to 29 august okay 
then students remember pre examination training is only for the reserve category students okay so it is a seven days training program it is provided by for the overall idea how you will going to appear and about the relevant subject which is carry out by the IBPS for a small training program seven days module okay then downloading the call letter for examination preliminary so call letter will be downloaded from august 2020 so particular date it has not mentioned so there will be changes also so we hope uh, it will be in the august second week or third week okay then online examination of prelim it will be september or october so particular date students ibps does not define here only it has defined september or october so we will wait for the exact date of the further notification right then the result of online examination of prelim the result of online examination prelim it has given a tentative date october okay so download the call letter for main exam so october or november 2020 so students for main examinations or result of the prelim particular date it does not have any mention here so we'll wait for the exact date for the uh, downloading the call letter or appear in the main examinations okay then online examination main it will be october or november it has defined and declaration of the result of the main it is october or november then conducting the interview for officer scale 1 scale 2 scale 3 it is october or november and provisional allotment it is january 21 so these are the date so students up to conducting the uh, prelim examinations uh, con downloading the call letter for the pet it is date as defined uh, 24 august to 29 august after that only the month has defined for the main examination result of the prelim examination then date of the interview it is only month has defined but particular date it does not defined so we should wait for the timing exact date on which we will go for the main exam go for the interview and the provisional allotment for the job it will be defined the january 21 okay so students these are the total discussions important 10 point important discussion related to our recruitment vacancies of regional rural bank so students we have discussed the 10 important point types of vacancy participating banks eligibility criteria educational qualifications examination pattern then covid guidelines and other guidelines vacancies list how to apply and tentative date of examination so these are the important things i think which is helpful for you to overall analyze the recruitment of rrb so students thank you very much watching this video but students i am telling to you in my another video i will give another important tips and tricks how to make your preparation for rrb another thing is that how to make your strategy plan for rrb officer scale one or officers uh, office assistant as well as some important tips and tricks that means details i will explain the syllabus related to your uh, rrb office assistant rrb officer syllabus i will explain previous year cutoff and how much this year cutoff will be i will also explain as well as tips and tricks as well as another important part is the strategy plan so that you will click the examination so another lesson i will take about this concept okay so do not forget this video about our vacancies notifications and in the second video lessons i will explain related to the exam strategy planning as well as the previous year cutoff and this year what will be the cutoff and the particular syllabus also okay so for other any other query you can communicate students you can communicate with us with our uh, social media sites facebook with our social media site instagram telegram okay so these are the platform are there you can communicate with us okay so thank you very much watching this video and wait for the next video which i am telling to you okay thank you